buying more car parts. Uh, we're buying some springs and retainers for the Evo 9. Let's get that car up and running. Um, reason being is because the head I'm buying has double springs and they're not recommended. So buying some different ones. Um, and as you can see, I get no discount. That's just from the website. Um, so let's see how much I end up paying. I'm going to lower it down a little bit because it has my address. So, mm, not in a rush. This is what I'm going to be end up paying. 407 almost $407 for these springs and retainers. Um, Probably going to do a flat rate, not in a rush. It's free. Anyways, so continue with payment. And I'm not gonna show you this. So I'll let you know when it arrives to my house. Guess what came in the mail today? Yep. My lifters, my springs and retainers. I'm not gonna show you the other side because I'm not gonna show you guys where I live. But they're here. Kami's right there. Time to drop this off to the shop, get my head machine, and get this evil running. I'm loading up the head, the cams, all the bolts, taking it over to KT's so they could resurface and use this head all over again. So, just finished off dropping off the stuff. Um, they're not in the back. Those are just bolts that we didn't need. Sorry I didn't record. Um, I'm in a rush right now. I have an appointment that I didn't even know about at 12. So head over there right now so pick it up when I start taking out the motor apart already picking up my head see the evils in the background my girl's here too show you the head right now there's my old head that's my new one right there Ooh, taking it home take out the motor and start putting in the new one so we got to move all these cars that one doesn't run. That one doesn't. This one does. That one does. Luckily, I don't need to move that one. Just these three right here. And that one over there. this car didn't want to turn on put the jumper the jumper was dead oh I'm tired still got to push one more 240 over there oh that's the hard part now the easy part is putting all these cars back now it's downhill hate this small little hill right here but it's my workout for today piece of junks jk there it is back how they were evil's inside been a while since the evil has been in the garage time to get this motor out and slap that motor over there with the head um but first time doing it so let's see how it goes heads are you out um probably gonna take off all the stuff in the top first before i lift it up then i'm gonna take off the axles and this car this motor is coming from the bottom so we'll see how it goes. So there it is. That's it for the top. 
uh, I took off the AC line. Um, basically, I had no AC, missing one of the lines here, so ain't a biggie. I disconnected the shifting cables, um, some of the wire harness. I'm just missing the starter down there and one from the alternator. Um, I'm probably gonna take off the power steering pump because I can't unplug this one. This one got soldered here, I don't know why. So I'm just gonna take off the power steering pump. Uh, and that's about it. Uh, I took everything, the hoses, cooling hoses that were there, that were connecting. Um, and that's it for the bot the top. Then I'm gonna do the bottom, take off the axles, take off both axles, and disconnect the differential and the pipe. So that's why I didn't remove this. Hopefully it comes in one piece. If not, I'll disconnect it. Um, but that's about it. Start pouring here. Good thing I have a garage. I'm nice and dry here. Took off the bump. Good guys, that's it. Um I called it a day the other day because I didn't want to pick up the size 19 from my car and it was raining so then i had to go to work sorry i haven't been posting a lot i've been sick my work schedule has been hectic but soon i need to get this car up and running i miss it but thanks again please like subscribe thanks for watching and i'm out